Hello everyone, my name is Zoofluencer and welcome back to a new episode of Monkey Island and unfortunately this will be the very last speed build episode of this uh, sandbox series um, because yeah I'm just completely out of monkeys in the game and uh, I know the last two episodes have been uh, like a restaurant and the uh, river boat tour just to prepare uh, for some new DLC and to finish up the park. Um, but I still have a lot of room left and uh, I, I really hope there will be a, a new DLC uh, coming uh, soon uh, with some extra monkeys so we can uh, continue on this uh, build. But unfortunately for now this will be the final episode. And um, yeah, what, so what I'm doing today is uh, I try to basically complete the uh, entire island. Um, what I basically did... Uh, throughout the build is was covering up the sides of the island with uh, just some rocks or just some plain terrain work and today I'm just trying to yeah basically finish up the entire island so I started now on a beach and uh, this will be the only beach that will contain some animals but you will see me um, adding them later so this episode will be a lot of uh, rocks uh, terrain work uh, beaches, plants, and um, in the end also I'm uh, finishing up some of the staff buildings. So for example I did enter or uh, insert some staff buildings, uh, you did uh, see it a little bit on the left right now, uh, for the uh, lima, uh, so for the lima habitat. So on both sides of them I just threw down some staff buildings and uh, I, I want to make them uh, blend in a little bit better. I'm not creating a really creative building or a lot of detailing on that one uh, because I'm not sure yet what will be there in the end um, but yeah I, I do want to uh, make it look good uh, so it's ready for uh, um, like an in-between zoo tour that will uh, that will definitely happen not sure if I will do a tour myself or just do some cinematics for the channel uh, but I will figure that out uh, this week um, but yeah, this episode will be mainly uh, terrain work. And you will also see me deleting a lot of stuff that I already did. Um, so for example, I didn't really like the rock work uh, anymore that I did in the first two or three episodes. Um, because yeah, there's a, there's a huge difference in what I'm doing now and what I did in the uh, very first episode. So that's um, the stuff that I'm trying to uh, get better in, uh, in this episode. So right now I'm creating a, creating a shelter um, for the animals that will uh, be in here. It's not really a habitat. I, I, I don't even think that the guests will, can actually see these animals. But uh, again, I wanted to create uh, like a natural look. Uh, I do want the animals to get some, uh, to get some food. Um, so I did put like uh, in a, a, a gate for the staff. And um, I do create like a habitat only with null fences again. Uh, so no real barriers and bang there are some <laughs> animals in there um, so I decided to go for these turtles I know these turtles can't swim and they don't really live on a beach uh, as far as I know and uh, I did yeah two minutes of research <laughs> on that so what I tried to do is create like a, a sea turtle beach so I know that the sea turtles um, probably like once a year go to the beach lay their eggs and, and get their kids and then you will, uh, in the end, you will have all these kids, you know, um, or all these babies, turtles, running towards the sea and get eaten by uh, all the other different animals. But that's what I wanted to create in this uh, in this area. And uh, as as we do not have any sea turtles right now, I just decided for to go for these. Uh, I think they're called elder bra giant tortoises uh, that's an impossible word for a Dutch guy to pronounce so I just gonna call them turtles anyway um, I did know that you will have a lot of trouble um, because I did have them in my franchise zoo if you create a giant habitat you will continuously get the error that they or the message that they are starving uh, because they, <laughs> they literally just take half an hour to reach their uh, to reach their food or their water so I didn't want to create this entire beach for as their habitat so I decided to split it up and um, yeah just simply buy some rocks and um, yeah I did see um, 
or did see I, I i try to improve the rock board you can see me using these um really creating like cliffs instead of just stacking up the same um stone or rock the, all the all the time and uh, like on the bottom i will use smaller ones instead of on the top uh, because yeah the smaller one will will just drop down basically so that's the look that i tried to create and um, i already started on the on the plant so a lot of trees and i really tried to blend in everything and get that rainforest uh, look and blending in everything with rocks and uh, and trees basically that's one thing you will also see me doing in the in this episode and right now i'm just creating this uh, this cliff um with a lot of different stones that i've been using before and i really like the look of this um if you compare it what i did before in the in the first few episodes um, so i'm not completely covering everything up with those rocks i also use a lot of train work and <laughs> sorry this episode might go a little bit faster so <laughs> i will jump uh, from different projects to, uh, to another one this is actually the river that is going through the uh, chimpanzee habitat and then also i think my third fourth episode i, I created like a little staff building and that one uh, um, is just passing by that building as well and um yeah this basically this part of the of the zoo was a little bit plain there was not much going on over there and uh, as i do not have any animals anymore i'd still want it to look good in the end so when uh, when there will be like a, a cinematic or a zoo tour it will still look good although there are not a lot of animals in this in this area basically um so yeah this river i'm trying to cover it up with uh, with some rocks and again some plants and uh, just to make it look natural make it look good and uh, i will do that on <laughs> on both sides so yeah again this is monkey island so there will be a lot of rocks uh, yeah, I, oh, but again, these these rocks are completely different from what I did in uh, with the chimpanzee habitat. It I tried to blend in the rocks together a little bit better, um, and then you you really really see the difference. And I think I did that off camera, but I actually replaced a lot of rock work from the chimpanzee habitat um, with yeah basically the same technique as as I'm using right now. Or a minute ago because i'm already <laughs> covering up uh, this open part and yeah this is the ideal place for a new habitat so maybe we get like uh, uh, another kind of gorillas or whatever that would be perfect uh, for this uh, for this spot so right now covering up the uh, the path towards the staff buildings and again i don't want everything to look the same so sometimes there will be a lot of plants and and uh, rocks and sometimes it will be only plain rock like a cliff and sometimes it will be a beach so i don't want the entire island to look exactly the same uh, all over the place um, so right now i'm started on the staff building that is on the side of the red roughed lemurs um, so the big really my habitat i start with this kind of roof but i already told you guys this like 12 or uh, i don't know many times i really do not like the color of it and i keep on starting with these pieces and then it, it just looks weird in the zoo it really does um yeah we really need like parts that i can change the color of or maybe just yeah parts like this that just look different i know i have been doing that with the bamboo uh, in my previous episode for example with the uh, with the restaurant that already looks better but yeah, I didn't want to create like a really detailed building because I'm not sure what will end up here. I might end up deleting this entire thing. So um, yeah, it, it would feel like a yeah, basically a waste of time to uh, put like an enormous, detailed, nice-looking building in here and then just yeah, deleting it <laughs> because it doesn't fit anymore. Uh, because but I didn't like the look of just plain. Um, staff buildings yeah nobody likes to look at that so i i did try to uh, to create a nice looking building and uh, make some different levels of the roof um and um that just make it look natural um like a normal staff building uh, you would see actually in a zoo um because we are creating like beautiful <laughs> beautiful buildings in this game um but i visited like a zoo uh, 
or was it a week ago and you will never see buildings like that also like just normal viewing areas and uh, that's what I want to take in mind when I create my next uh, zoo I already started on a new franchise one if you didn't see that one make sure you check that one out as well um, in that series I really try to make a combination of designing and the franchise because a lot of people would say okay I don't play uh, franchise um, because you cannot create a good looking zoo I do not agree with that once you get the money you can basically just create whatever you want but you have to take in mind the management aspects of the game and that's what I I really really enjoy playing the franchise I've actually put just a few hours uh, in that in that project just playing around with the with the management and with the animals selling them uh, putting them on the market I really really enjoy that one so um, yeah the probably right now I will start a new sandbox series soon but I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do I do see a lot of people creating really realistic zoos I really like that idea um, I've seen a, a, a city zoo um, yeah I've seen different kind of things but I'm not sure yet what I want to do if you have a great idea in your mind and uh, but you don't know how to how to build it or whatever just let me know in the comments or you can also join my discord by the way if you didn't do that already um, I will put a link in the description so you can join it you can talk to me and uh, basically talk to anyone in there and uh, about this game or about whatever you want basically so right now I'm putting down this fence I don't want people to drop down um, yeah it's really kind of me um, but it, it just looked weird if there was no nothing there, only rocks. People could just walk down there and, and fall off. That would look strange uh, because they probably do want to see the <laughs> the turtles down there. Because um, I think when you just look at that, uh, you can't really you can't really see them, unfortunately. But I did like the look of it, and um, so I just left them left them there. Maybe I will do something with that. Uh, when I continue working on this zoo, I'm, I'm not sure. So right, this part I did want to... Uh, yeah, how should I call it? Make it look like a garden, so I don't want everything to look overgrown. Um, I'm playing around with these fences, by the way. I, I had no clue what happened here. There must be something... Uh, uh, like a difference in terrain height. Oh, must be something like that. But Anyway, I decided to just cover it up with uh, rocks from here. Um, but uh, I was telling you that I want to like the area around the star building. I want it to look like a garden uh, with some plants and, and that's it. So no no bushes or, or whatever. Um, nothing overgrown, some bamboo. And just to make it look uh, a little bit tidy. And then this part, it will uh, it will look like a rainforest, basically. Um, so trying to make the curves in the path a little bit better instead of just these edges. And doing some terrain work of course and right now um yeah this is just a plain path so uh, i wanted to create a new uh, a new bridge in here and of course i will be using logs and um yeah basically this bridge will be more or less the same bridge as i uh, basically it will be the same bridge but it does look completely different but it will be the bridge uh, from the entrance um but the entrance bridge is it's much bigger, of course. Um, but somehow it it really works well. I will copy it down, yeah, right now. And um, yeah, it, it really does work well. So this part I will just copy it and and will copy it again to the other side. Um, finishing it up somehow. I forgot some pieces. Uh, but as you can see, it it does look much smaller. I'm just using the same part, but. Um, I do like that I just create the same thing all around the zoo. I want to create the same feeling and uh, I might be doing that a little bit differently in the franchise series because normally in a zoo you will have different themes or different part of the world where you go through and, and the theme will change with that. Uh, but yeah, right now most of the monkeys are just from tropical areas. And um, except for the Japanese macaque, of course. Uh, so that's why I created that winter dome. Um, but yeah, but basically you will have the same uh, 
tropical feeling all around all around the zoo um, you might recognize this part again this will be the terrace on the back of the uh, Lima building and um, again it looked weird with the rocks and um, so I creating a beautiful beach again and um, yeah you will probably see me creating beaches uh, for a while now um, yeah, it, it was a kind of a struggle. <laughs> I tried to cut out most of it, but if you delete the water, you can see it's calculating all the time. And somehow, I don't know why, but there is like a grid with the water. And I know that you cannot put the water in in every height that you want. But somehow, I'm not sure in which part that it happened. But the grid changed. And I don't know why, because uh, as you know, might know, there are some water effects in the water in uh, the orangutan beach uh, which was the first beach i created in the zoo um, but the grid slightly changed and all my water effects were, were just right on top of the water instead of in it and i don't know why that happened i really have no clue i i thought i i <laughs> i knew what i was doing with that water uh, but that grid just changed and which is weird and uh, I don't know how to change it back. So I just decided to put all the effects back in. And you don't really see it. It's a really slight difference. Um, but as, <laughs> of course the calculating would, would take more and more time. Uh, because there is a lot of water around this uh, around this island. And um, yeah, so, so these beaches, I really like it. Um, there's such a huge difference in how the island looks uh, after this episode. And you will see me deleting a lot of rocks again right now. Deleting the rocks, uh, blending in the terrain, creating that beach. And it makes it look so much better in the end. Um, it's just a pleasure looking at the island itself. And um, yeah, that, that's what I really like about it. That's why I wanted to create an episode like this. This is more like I'm finishing up the, the island and finishing up the park. And creating the rock work. And... Um, yeah, just make it look good. So there are unfortunately no habitats in this episode. But anyway. The um, the zoo won't be finished completely after this episode. But I will do my very first live stream. Um, to thank you guys. I, I wanted to do a live stream uh, as a thank you for the 250 subscribers. And I knew that I would have time this week. Um, but right now it would be a thank you for the 300 subscribers uh, because I reached the 300 and uh, so I want to thank you guys very very much for that that's a huge support and will keep me going on uh, creating content uh, on my channel so I want to thank you guys for that and I will do a live stream on Thursday at 7 p.m. Central European time and um, yeah I hope I really hope to see you guys there. Uh, it will be my very first live stream, um, so I'm not really experienced with that. So if you have any tips or whatever during the live stream, you can help me out. That would be uh, that would be perfect. So right now I'm making a making a little bit of changes on the chimpanzee habitat. Um, again, I didn't like the rock work and creating a beach, uh, but I can't. Yeah, I didn't feel right to create a beach right here for the chimpanzees because I would really basically um, yeah, change the entire habitat and that's not what I wanted to do um, but I, I tried to yeah get a little bit more creative with this uh, yeah with this uh, with this habitat or oh, sorry with this rock work I was already thinking about <laughs> this part uh, because this was basically the part where I lost the grid of my uh, of my water and I also couldn't get it back in and then I found out that there was a turtle in the way and then I, I just <laughs> cut it out completely. So there's a, a smaller beach uh, right next to the entrance building. Again, I didn't like the look of it. It was completely uh, different from what I did before. Um, so this is uh, the orangutan habitat and I really like the uh, rock work that I created. So I tried to copy that in. Uh, at some places to make it look better um, right now I'm just finishing up everything that I I don't really like uh, to look at <laughs> basically um, I think I will only create like one one 
more beach or maybe I, I cut that out. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, otherwise it would have been too many beaches in one episode. Um, but yeah, this is like the final staff building. I basically copied this one from the um, staff village in the center of the zoo. And uh, this was actually an idea of a friend of mine to just create these windows so you can actually look into the building. Um, so thank you for that. It really, uh, it really looks nice. Um, I tried to blend it in a little bit better later. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it for this episode. Um, I really want to thank you guys for watching Monkey Island, and it has really been a pleasure for me creating this zoo. And basically, yeah, this will be the very first or the beginning of my YouTube. Um, channel uh, so yeah i know i did like one or two smaller speed build videos before i started this one but this was really my very first project and i really hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did make sure you hit the like button and if you did not do it already make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, yeah just let me know in the comments what you want to see uh, being added to monkey island during my live stream on thursday i really hope to see you all there on thursday again thank you for watching and i hopefully see you on thursday and otherwise i will speak to you guys in the next episode of either my franchise or the new sandbox This one is a lot of